US earnings season is past the halfway point and S&P 500 companies are exceeding the low bar set prior to the reporting period. Hello, I'm Kyle Rudder and in this week's Investor Spotlight, we review the earnings season so far, discuss last week's tech results and home in on three companies reporting in the week ahead. The bar was set low for company earnings heading into the first quarter reporting period. Although still expected to deliver negative EPS growth, earnings have exceeded expectations so far, according to data compiled by Factset. Aggregate EPS growth for S&P 500 companies is forecast to fall 3.7% for the quarter, up from a 6.7% forecast uh, contraction tipped at its outset. Cyclical stocks have been amongst the biggest outperformers, indicating a more resilient US economy. The blended earnings estimate for the consumer discretionary sector is currently 47.8%, with industrials, energy and financial services also posting stronger than expected growth. Megacap tech results were the talk of the street last week and will likely remain so in the week ahead. Corporate giants Alphabet, Meta, Platforms, Amazon and Microsoft handed down earnings and all beat analyst expectations. The strong results fueled an emerging trend on Wall Street of US tech outperformance. Not for the first time in recent history, strength in big tech is propping up the performance of the S&P 500, which is pushing higher on a noteworthy lack of breadth. As can be seen in this chart, produced by Jason McIntosh from Motion Trader, there's a growing divergence between the S&P 500 index and the equal weight S&P 500 index. The reporting season is past its halfway point with a lion's share of Wall Street's hottest companies already reporting. However, we still confront a stacked corporate calendar in the week ahead. And here are three stocks to watch in the week ahead. Apple reports on Friday morning, as outlined by IG market analyst Hebe Chen, the company is expected to see a drop in both revenues and profits for the quarter, with EPS tip to slip to $1.44 per share. After year clouded by softening demand and continued supply side disruptions, investors will be cleanly awaiting what the business says about future sales activity and the company's ability to defend margins. Amid geopolitical risks, expectations for weaker consumption and fewer growth opportunities, what guidance Apple management provides about future earnings growth will be the focus this quarter. Following several quarters of subdued growth, analysts expect a stronger earnings pickup in the periods ahead. That prospect supports a bullishness towards Apple stock amongst the analyst community. Currently, 34 or 42 brokers recommend a buy, while seven suggest a hold and one a sell. However, the consensus price target is roughly in line with the market price target and has been progressively lowered recently. Apple shares look to be range bound in the long term, having failed to make a new high over the last year. After surprising investors by delivering positive earnings last quarter, Uber is expected to reveal EPS of nine cents for negative nine cents, I should say, for the first quarter of 2023. Despite this, earnings are still forecast to increase by 52% from the corresponding period last year as the company's business returns to normal following pandemic restrictions across the globe. The outlook remains murky for Uber as the company looks to navigate softer macroeconomic conditions and regulatory risks that could impact the business's ability to retain drivers. Going forward, EPS is forecast to barely break into positive territory with sustained positive earnings not expected until 2024. However, Uber's take rate, or the amount of money it makes as a total percentage of its fares, is expected to pick up in the quarters ahead. Analysts remain very constructive on Uber stock. At 46 surveyed analysts, 31 recommend a buy, while only four suggest hold and one suggests a sell. The consensus price target is at a hefty premium of $46.78. Uber shares appear in a downtrend still. However, a series of higher lows suggest the stock may have bottomed out. Trader favorite Coinbase reports on Thursday morning as the business looks to push through the turmoil of last year's cold crypto winter and continued financial market uncertainty. Following that devastating 2022 for Coinbase profits, analysts expect the business to begin moving in the right direction again this year. 
Earnings per share in Q1 is forecast to rise 32.13% to negative $1.34 per share, with the broker's earnings expected to have bottomed in, in, in the middle of last year. Revenues are expected to be significantly lower than last year's corresponding period. However, they are expected to be higher than the previous two quarters. Analysts are neutral on the stock following 18 months that have seen the company lose more than 80% of its value. Most recommend a hold, with 13 analysts suggesting that action, 7 pitching a sell and 9 a buy. The consensus price target is at $73.14. In the bigger picture, Coinbase is clearly in a downtrend. Near-term support looks to be around $52, while resistance could emerge at a confluence of levels at $60. 